So, you know how much GNOME invests on mobile development, even if people don't seem to use smart devices for running Linux. But anyway, there is a new tool to help developers out with their adaptive adventures. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'm telling you already, it's too cool to skip. The code is on Adwaita repo on main branch, so it will be available on GNOME SDK 48 in March. Now, we have two ways to launch it. Your first option is to open the GTK debugger with Control shift d and then on add way to tab, you'll see a button to start the adaptive preview. Way number two is to start it directly from the terminal. The ghosty terminal. Woo woo woo! I'm fine! Shut up! So, alternatively, you can run any no map with the Adwaita debug adaptive preview variable, okay? And here it is. Um, let me put it right there. So what that does is to display the window to the exact dimensions of a phone so we can easily check the adaptive UI. We can select a device. Um, that's interactive, of course. Works 100%. So from here, we can select a device to emulate the window size. And of course, we have the OnePlus devices because Linux on phones is more popular in China. Ha! Um... Um... And obviously, we can use any custom size. Another option is to emulate the app in full screen, for example, without the top bar of a phone, so the developer can check the camera cutout. Hmm, what else? We can disable the window controls and rotate the screen. Well, that's pretty much everything, but you know what's funny? The interface that is responsible to test the adaptability of an app, it's adaptive itself. Ghost! <laughs> woo 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 Oh, also cool, we can exit it, and the app will still keep functioning normal without a restart. Although, that's a bit buggy. Goodbye, ghost! Woo woo woo!